Hey folks, how's it going? This is Mike, Gray1951, and I'm doing my video for the A to Z, or do you say Z, series. And now we're up to the letter H. And uh, I'm actually doing a video in my TV room, for which I haven't done for a long time. You can see the shelves behind me. These shelves, I'm trying to get things reorganized, uh, alphabetical order, etc., etc. And it looks very neat, doesn't it? But what you can't see is the rest of the room. Uh, on the floor, I have stuff piled up around me, which I'm trying to sort out. You know, TV stuff, and movie stuff, and, and alphabetical orders. So, I've actually been doing some work on it this weekend. I had some time, and uh, trying to make it presentable, <laughs> a little more, a little more orderly. So, someday, someday it'll be finished. So anyway, here I am. This is a movie for the letter H, and the movie I picked is Hitchcock. Hitchcock. This uh, came out a couple years ago. Well, about a year ago. I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't see it when it was in the theater. But this is the first watch for me. I, I did not see this. I, I bought this a while ago. I think at Barnes and Noble it was on sale, and decided to pick it up. And it's a very good movie. I was really surprised at how good it was. Anthony Hopkins plays Alfred Hitchcock, and he does a good job. I can't say that he looked like Hitchcock, but I guess he was trying to. I don't know if he, he must have put 40 pounds of makeup on his face or something, and uh, did not look like Anthony Hopkins at all. But and. Uh, Helen Mirren plays his wife, and you know I know very little about the life of Alfred Hitchcock. I mean, I, I've heard some things about him, his obsession with blonde actresses and all that, and, and he had to be a very, um, well, kind of an unusual, and, and another one of these artistic type people who probably had all kinds of weird traits and all that. But I didn't know anything about his life. But th this all delves into the time when he was making the movie Psycho. It started out with. Uh, coming off of the success of North by Northwest, trying to decide what his next feature would be, and going through all this turmoil, and then coming across the novel Psycho, and deciding that he wanted to do something very different. He wanted to do a, a true horror film. And uh, and I guess, I didn't know this, but I, I suppose it's true that he actually um, put up all the money himself, put his house on, on a, a second mortgage or something like that, and risked everything by making this movie because nobody thought it was going to be a success other than him and his wife so and uh, it, it was interesting to see the relationship between husband and wife they, they were not only married but they also collaborated uh, artistically and they had a very seemed to have a very close but a very bizarre relationship but yeah I, I enjoyed this thoroughly I mean I love Helen Mirren as an actress and I admire Anthony, Anthony Hopkins although he's not He's not somebody I necessarily follow. But also, good performance by Scarlett Johansson, who plays Janet Lee, who of course starred in Psycho. She's very good. And uh, Tony Collette, whom I consider to be a chameleon of an actress, plays the uh, assistant of Albert Hitchcock. And I, her her accent that she was doing was was wonderful. I, I kept thinking it was uh, Emma Thompson. I thought, could this possibly be Emma Thompson? with 40 layers of makeup and a black wig on because it's, to me that's what it sounded like. But no, it was Tony Collette. And I can't think now who the name of the actress who played... Oh, the, the actress who played uh, Vera Miles. I guess uh, Jessica Biel, is that who it was? Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm so blind here. Yeah, I guess it was Jessica Biel. And I don't know the name of the actor who played Anthony Perkins. I don't, I don't know which one it was. It could have been this guy named uh, Danny Houston. Michael Sulbarg? I don't know. I'm not really sure. Sorry. But also a very small appearance by, uh, a very brief appearance, I should say, by Ralph Macchio, who um, is all grown up now, and he's an old guy. And he was playing Joseph Stefano, who I guess helped with the, um, the script. So it's kind of cool to see him. But it has um, these kind of fantasy sequences that Hitchcock goes into. Because, of course, Psycho was based on the true story of, of a serial killer named Ed Gein, who was obsessed with his mother and, I guess, dug up her corpse and all this really creepy stuff. So the character of Ed Gein keeps coming into Hitchcock's uh, uh, realm of vision, comes into his dreams and his thoughts. So Ed Gein keeps coming into the film, which is very weird. And there are a few very funny sequences, but some of it gets very creepy, especially when, when Hitchcock was directing Janet Lee in the shower sequence. And I don't know if this is true either because I haven't watched any of the back uh, story information or making of Psycho 
extra features. I need to do that. And and maybe it's true that he just, uh, in this film at least, it, it shows him just terrorizing her while he's making that scene. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have already seen this, so I'm not giving a lot of stuff away. And everybody knows the story of Psycho being a great success and re revitalizing uh, Alfred Hitchcock's career. And um, if you haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. It's uh, a piece of cinematic history and great acting by Anthony Hopkins and Helen Mirren. So that's my movie for the letter H. And if anybody would like to say anything about my wonderful shells behind me or this movie, please do. All right. See you later.